I knew I always wanted to be a mom. From a young child, that's what I wanted to do when I was gonna grow up and be a mom. But a year into our marriage, Greg and I um, learned the pain of infertility. Having children wasn't going to be an easy process for us. And so we started seeking out treatment and doctors. And we went down that journey and that road was long and it was hard. And in the end, it was successful. We have our twins, Olivia and Harper. They're the joy of our lives and at that point, I thought our family was complete. And actually not too much after they were born, the Lord clearly told me, Amanda, you will have a son and he will be born without intervention. And that seemed crazy, that seemed wild, but that's what the Lord said. So Greg and I took that at face value and believed it. It was easy to believe in the beginning. And then time ticks by and Years tick by and I doubt it. Oh, I doubt it all the time. And every time I would doubt, I would hear the Lord say, like, I said, this will happen. You will have a son. And sometimes I would think like, well, maybe, maybe God forgot. Three and a half years after the girls were born, um, came the quiet morning that we found out we were pregnant. At first, there was shock and excitement and it was hard to believe, but yet it wasn't all at the same time. And so July 20th, 2017, our miracle son was born, the son that was promised to us, the son that um, I had a hard time believing would be, and yet knew without a shadow of a doubt what happened. So we're so grateful that the Lord fulfilled His promise. And in spite of me and my doubts and my ups and downs, He followed through with what he said.